This is the place the Texas Rangers call home in the Dominican Republic. Their academy is located in Boca Chica. It has two fields. It has two barracks that are capable of holding up to 80 players. It has just about everything a player needs, but it isn't exactly a modern facility. Here's a look at one of the batter's eyes on one of the two fields. As you can see, it's a little bit worn down by weather and time. It's nothing like you'll see in a couple weeks at the Surprise Recreation Campus for spring training. One thing Surprise doesn't have though is roosters. There seem to be quite a few hanging around the fields in Boca Chica. Sometimes they got on the field, in this case they aren't. Those that get on the field know when to get off as soon as balls start flying. Here's a better look at the field. As you can see, the grass is cut and manicured. The pitcher's mound is pounded and raked. Same goes for the, the infield where, where routine ground balls are a thing of dreams uh, in, in the Dominican Republic where fields can tend to be a little bit rough. Here's a panoramic view of one of the fields. Starting in center field and going left, players get on the field bright and early. In this case, they're on the field by 645. Scouts get there. Executives get there. Coaches, of course, are there. This was shot during the last week of the January program, which is when the Rangers, executives, coaches, and scouts make their annual trip to the Dominican Academy. They evaluate their own players, but they also evaluate kids who come from the Dominican and beyond for tryouts. The Rangers prefer to see their kids play games so they can see how they adjust to game situations. On the other field where the players under contract are, work never seems to stop. Here's Jorge Alfaro, one of the game's top catching prospects, doing drills. This is Nomar Mazzara, who signed for $4.95 million in 2011. The outfielder makes many stops on this day. Team drills, defensive work, base running. Even manager Ron Washington gets into the act, doing infield work with just about anybody who asks. In this case, Hanser Alberto asked. Alberto's a great story. He signed for $7,000, not $4.95 million, and last year he reached double A. The Rangers Dominican Academy, which they rent, will probably just be theirs for a couple more years. General Manager John Daniels badly wants to build a new modern facility like Colorado and Seattle have as well as the Yankees and Mets. Rangers officials and coaches call their current home functional, but they realize that upgrades are needed. It would probably take two years from now, assuming land is found quickly, architects are commissioned, and land is cleared and construction begins. The final cost could be $10 million to $15 million for a state-of-the-art facility, which you can count on the Rangers having.